Let's talk about the Gold Zero Yeti 150 uh, portable generator for emergencies and uh, camping, RVs, and little recreational gadgets. Guys, this is what I have for you guys today. Welcome to JW Solo USA. I've done a review of these. Go back into the playlist and take a look. 12 volt system, and it has a meter right here and uh tells you the state of charge the input for solar and 12 volts cigarette lighter and you can use another 12 volt output here usb any one you push you're going to give you indication and the ac now we have the inverter on so the drop right there pull the battery really fast so this is the reason why we're going to be changing, uh, looking the, into this ba um, bad boy today and see the battery is really horrible, terrible. I can't even explain. And I bought this one um, new from someone and uh, was given to him as a gift, but doesn't have anything to do with it. So it's just sitting there collecting dust. So... I mentioned that I was okay. Let me give it a shot. Maybe I would need it in the future or not. So I decided to go ahead and bought it. And uh, I bought it. And um, now I'm experiencing, not even using it yet, I'm experiencing the battery is terrible. So I don't know for you guys out there if really um, you've uh, encountered some of these problems with these Yetis. Well, if that's so, please uh, leave a comment. Okay, so now we're going to go try and see what kind of battery this thing has inside. And we'll go about see if we can replace that with lithium ion batteries or the Panasonic 18650. 18650. This thing was charged and see how it drops so fast. Now it's on 60%. Just the inverted on, it drops the thing to two bars, drop to three right now. And let's open up this thing and see what is inside, what kind of battery it's using. I know it's a 12 volt system. But now we're going to be using a good security uh, screws. You can see what it uses here. Okay. And uh, this is uh, the CR, the T125. So if we want to open up your one of these, you need a TR, a T125. Uh, sorry, T25. That's what you need. T25. Okay. Let's put it in into this. Uh, let's put this thing to work and see what we can able to achieve from this guy. We might be able to bring it back to life. So, so let's try it and see. I never opened one of these before. So I don't know how it looks like. And I didn't even do any research on this. I'm just curious to open it up and see what it is. So we'll find out pretty soon. All right, let's see if this is how it works. Oh, there you go. Just a cover and a handle. Kind of nifty uh, setup they have here. And uh, let me bring you close. This is the battery we have here. So it's the one old system. It's not like an inverter. Inverter itself is just a board which you know, they embedded everything USB. I think it has a transformer there that does the work. Guys, don't ask me. I don't know. So, this is the battery right here. We are here for this battery. Let's take it out. So, is it worth for us ordering a new battery to put it in here? Or just replace it with lithium battery? So, what it does here, I can see down there. Like a temperature sensor sitting underneath the battery. So I think when the battery get hot or something when it's charging, I think it's going to slow down or regulate um, the, the charge. That's a kind of neat setup right there. So this is the battery 
here. So it's the EV1214. So it's a 14 amp, 12 volt. And uh, this is a company from China. Of course, you know how it is. And these are all the specifications we have here. That's why this battery didn't last long. Made in China. That's the thing. So this is a battery. And it's a silicate acid battery. Is it worth rejuvenating? Is it worth really our time? So we're going to see what we can do inside the guts of these guys here. And it has uh, what? I think it's a 30 amp uh, fuse in there. Let's see. Focus. A 20, I think it's a 20 amp fuse. That runs into these things, get some capacitors and all that stuff. So, guys, I don't think this is gonna worth our time buying this battery, but we can do more research and get back and see um, if it worth really buying the battery and replacing it, and we're gonna be facing the same problem uh, down the road or in the near future. So I think what we're going to do, I don't know what you guys think, we're going to incorporate um, uh, lithium batteries, which is uh, we have here, and see that on the description below, the uh, 18650 um, Panasonic. Stay tuned. Guys, you've seen the specification on this one. If I try to bring it closer, I don't know if you can read it. Or maybe I can just do a readout here. So, cycle use is uh, 14.6 and 14. Point, uh, I think it's 8. Let me take it off camera. 14.9 at 25 degrees C. This is a valve regulated seal lead acid battery. And, uh, so 14.9 or 14.8, the writing is so small. So I'm going to try and replace that with these guys here. These are the Panasonic 18650 batteries. And uh, the specifications for this is a 14.4, which it matches this uh, specification right here. Uh, 14 point, it says 14.6. Okay. 14.6. Uh, and this one says uh, 14. 14.666 milliamp hour, 95. 0 0.04 watt hours which this one is just a 14 this is a 14 amp hour battery okay 14 amp hour and this is a 6.6 6.6 6 amp hour so if i put two of these guys 6 6 12 6.6 6 times 2 that will give you us a good amount of, of number uh, here so over 13 to 14, 13 and a half. So it's almost equivalent to this guy here. So if you look at the, the, the size, look at the size, do a comparison. You got the size right here. Let me bring this. Okay. Look at the size. If we're trying to do a comparison here, look at the size of the battery. Look how small they are, okay? The size, the length is almost approximately the same, but look at the, the size of the, the, the modules. So I could probably able to take three of these, almost, you can see a little space left here. I can put four of them here. So if I decided to take this one and move it right here, Exactly four of these batteries will substitute for this 
big battery that came from this unit right here. Let's try it out and see how everything works. If I decide to go, out, go with this route, I can able to easily put three batteries in here. Uh, it's just because of these grooves right here. Probably gonna cause a little bit problem, but we'll see how we can test it out. Which we double the amperage, we double the capacity, capacity or the power output of this unit. Guys, three of these batteries we get in here easily. The only problem I'm gonna encounter is um, um, because the battery is in there and this handle cannot sit all the way down. The reason is it's sitting on the battery, the third one in there. So see, so I can go further and it can, it can lock, but not perfectly. So doing so, we can just a matter of eliminating the third battery. We are still sitting on the same capacitant uh, of the 14 because a 6.6 .6 times two, that give us 13 point something. So equivalent, we can use this one and remove this battery right here to eliminate the problem. And we're gonna able to go about it easily and safely. Here we are. Now, look, it's all secured and locked and safe with two batteries in there. And we are gonna be replacing, I think we're gonna be replacing this with these guys right here at JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. So we know what we're supposed to do. The uh, parameter or specifications, they are almost identical. So there is no discrepancy on the charging. And the battery has a BMS on it. It's built in BMS. That's just going to work fantastically. We're not going to have to worry about anything due to um, charging or distributing power. Stay tuned and watch for the next video how we're going to be transforming this guy to a better running capacity, which is a 90, so 95.06 times 2. That's going to give us a good power for this guy. So now it's going to be productive. It's going to be useful. It's going to be beneficial. And I think we're going to benefit from that. For just this battery is cheaper. I can buy this battery cheaper compared to this. This one probably cost me more. Maybe I can buy three of these batteries. I haven't checked the price yet. But because of the little bit weight on it, this is almost like a five pound. And this is just uh, not even probably five or uh, six or seven ounces. Okay? I don't think so. So this is like three times or four, four of these is like one of these. All right. Take care. Bye for now. Like and subscribe. Well, just digging on the batteries that I have. So I decided to find 2017s. I want to use the latest uh, model, which is the closest latest. So you can see that 11, 2017. And this one says... 505 2017s. So I rather use this ones, these two modules on these units right here. But uh, for us to uh, be on the safer side instead of replacing them back um, in the near future. So I'll probably use these two. No, probably I'm going to use that because them are the most uh, uh, recent batteries. For that year so I can able to put them even sideways see it's still just perfect so I just have to be careful so not to make sure that they hit the uh, the stuff the component so I can able to put them vertical by doing so I can flip them over this way bring you closer then they just gonna sit on the uh, on the temperature sensor at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do, I will use some styrofoam to stock this place here so for moving, preventing it from moving around or shaking. 
if I have to carry this thing. So it's not going to be the same like it used to, but I can make it to be as uh, perfect as it's supposed to be. Okay? All right. Thank you, guys. We're going to be snipping these wires. We're going to be connecting these things and activate this unit on the next video. Bye for now.